Hello, hello. Yo. Hey, how's it going? Hang on. Yeah. Hello, hello. What's up, dude? Hey, how's it going, man? What's happening, brother? Not much. It's a pleasure to have you on. Are we on? We are on. I might not. I, I can cut out some of this stuff in post, but we yeah, are recording. It. Leave it in. <laughs> sound, uh, does it sound all right? It sounds great, dude. Your, your right. voice is just made for radio. And Let's do it. <clears throat> a bit, that big-ass microphone is really making it sound good, too. It's the same microphone you got. I just, the, 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 I spit chicken salad on the other cover. Oh, shit. So I had to change good. it. I don't know where it is. I tried to clean it, but I can't find it now. What's up? It looks good. Nah, you know, just hanging out here in Arizona. It's hot as fuck still, and it's September, almost October. But, uh, oh, shit. Know? I forgot about that. Yeah. About it being hot as fuck. Yeah, I forget every time I go to Arizona, I forget that it's like standing behind a bus. And uh, I always I always bring the wrong fucking clothes. I'm usually some long sleeve shirt, I'm sweating my twat off and black everything. So, Well, it's tough, too, because there's like a 30 degree variance each day, too, because th there's no clouds. It's just sun and then nighttime and then sun again. So it could be like 60 degrees and nice in the morning. Oh, I like and then that. It's like, Can you do that again? Can you, how it's, do you do that? it's like, you know, sun, night, sun. So oh, my I, God. I did. It's just amazing. <laughs> I am a hypnotist in my spare time. So, are you really? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's not that much that. to do in Arizona, but um, I haven't gotten to that hobby yet. But <laughs> it's just podcasting for now. Uh, but anyway, it's great to have you on, Bobby. We are on a comedy advice podcast. My name is Stefan Satani. And, uh, the, that beautiful voice you guys have been listening listening to has been Robert Kelly. Bobby Kelly, which one do you prefer? I don't give a shit. It's like one of those names. It's Robert Kelly because when I first got into SAG, Bobby Kelly was taken. All the names I want, so I had to go with Robert Kelly because I think Robert Kelly was, I don't know, some fucking poet and woodcarver in New Hampshire or something had my name, Bobby Kelly. So I had to take Robert. Oh, gotcha. Well, both of them are fucking fine. worked out well i did <laughs> better than the other because the other one's a child molester that um i have now so yeah i was gonna say when i was doing some research i was googling robert kelly and i saw that you peed on underage girls and i was like wait a second that's not the one so i had to well he got caught my... <laughs> he got caught that was his that's, fault uh, <laughs> that's on him yeah for being yeah i mean i it doesn't make sense to me too it's like we're all trying to make it. We're all trying to get our dreams and get money and, blah. and then to finally do it and to be so bored with money, fame and, and fucking sex that you have to like do weird shit. And then, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I look I, one time I can understand doing something, but let me check this shit out. And then after you do it, you're like, dude, I'm never doing that again. We've all done something <laughs> sexually. We're like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> you know what I mean? But to just yeah. continue to do it. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? You mother. If, if I had a second of your fame, I would just quietly ride off in the distance. And then when you're done being famous, go live on an island like Marlon Brando and fucking bang monkeys. Who gives a shit? Jeez, seriously, it's like, why, how important is that to, to you to be able to like, crave it so much that oh. you're just constantly going after now? That's why my wife says we only have sex once a week. So that way I crave just the sex and then I stop right. peeing on her and doing all that other crazy shit. Right. I'm so. glad you stopped that because that was just, that's just unheard of. You know, especially I mean? <laughs> in Arizona, it's probably so hot there. It's a way to hydrate. It's it really is. I mean, it's it's cold compared to the air temperature. You know that the, there's some there's some MMA guys that drink their pee in the morning. Really, yeah, the first the first cup of hot piss out of you in the morning is supposed. Some people believe is very nutritious. 
Um, I wonder if you could have a preference like ice pea versus hot pea. But yeah, well, I'm, I'm pre diabetic, so mine tastes like sugar smacks. So mine oh. would not be that bad. It's probably nice <laughs> and sweet. I think that's how Patrice found out he had diabetes. He actually, I think I heard that uh, too. yeah, his girlfriend was like, Your pee tastes real good or something. He's like, Oh, shit. So <laughs> <laughs> I like how it got to the moment of just more than pee play it was like a little taste here and there. I mean, maybe the spray. <laughs> got into the mouth but um, no 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 i think that, <laughs> it was a direct stream into the mouth yeah yeah i mean i've had a couple of friends that like into that really which is weird yeah 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 i had mm. a couple of friends that were into that yeah i yeah, don't know I mean, man <laughs> go ahead oh you oh dude you don't have to fucking you don't have to say i don't know i don't get it i agree with you i don't get it either yeah, I'm. You might have a point about the Arizona thing, where it's so hot here, just having more hot stuff on you yeah. doesn't seem appealing. So <laughs> maybe that's why it's not so common here. At yeah, least. if your pee, if my pee tasted like the purple vitamin water and it was cold, <laughs> that might be. I might want that. Oh yeah, if it was a cold, like a slushy almost. Ooh, just that'd be great. Ra rain oh, it all you, over me. Oh, if you peed grape slushy. We'd be pissing on each other all the time during the summer. Instead of opening fire hydrants in the Bronx, it would just be older men just peeing all over the children. <laughs> this is terrible. Where are we going? What's up? Oh, my uh, God. Oh, th well, this is a great stream of consciousness, but we'll keep moving on. Yes. I was going to say, really excited to have you here in Phoenix. Speaking of Phoenix and the hot weather yes. and all that shit. All, all the stuff yeah. that makes it not sound that great. But um, it sounds like I've been hearing on your podcasts and other podcasts that you've been on that you've been on the road again. You're kind of yes. co comedy's in this punk rock stage where um, doing shows sometimes in backyards and things like that. But rewind. Let, let's do that. I'll keep the hand thing going. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> like, like, like pre-COVID, you were, I mean... You're already a famous comedian, but I mean, you had the Creeps with Kids tour. You had yeah. some sold out stadiums um, yeah. and, and theaters. I mean, and, and you had a bunch of dates, five festivals that you were going to go to. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. COVID just poofed all that shit. So what was it like going through that when everything kind of just stopped? Well, the only thing that sucked about it is that, number one, you found out how unessential you were. You know what I mean? It was just like, wow you're just nothing in the grand scheme of the world. Your skill is the first to go, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if, you know what I mean? It's like goodbye, done, nothing. And you'll be the last to come back. It's like two, women, children, yes. men, yeah, well, it's, and then comedians are last to get the raft to get on that. Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like carpenters and, and, I mean, Jesus, people, the people at job lots is more important than me. You know, it's like Panera Bread is more important than my job, you know? Um, oh, my God. So it's five below is open. You know, comedy, <laughs> oh, fuck. It's, it's, it was really like, holy shit, man. This shit, if, when, when, it gets, when it gets serious we're it's just dude just be grateful you get to tell dick jokes for a living you know and number two it sucked because everybody was in the same boat usually when your life falls apart somebody dies something happens you go bankrupt you could go to a bunch of people and have them let you know have your pity pot but everybody you went to was like yeah me too and it's like fuck Fuck, you can't even get the, you can't even get the, man, I, I'm here for you. It's because, yeah, dude, yeah. me too. Yeah, my whole, I, yeah. And, of course, it was a little annoying because I know really famous, rich comedians. They yeah. were like, yeah, man, we're all in the same boat. It's like, we're in the same storm. You're in a much better fucking boat than most of us. <laughs> Don't fucking, you're not worried about a, your mortgage. You're not worried about fucking... You know what I mean? You got four houses. You could move into another one, the smaller of the four. So it was a little annoying with that, but yeah. you know, it's, it went away quick, man. It went away fast and it sucks. Cause I feel like I knew it was coming, you know, really? it, everything, everything was just too 
good. You know, everything was just fucking great. And, you know, a, two years ago when I got my brand new truck, I remember I, I, was, I was just like, man, I fucking, things are going great. I really love life right now. I got the truck, a Ford Ranger that I wanted, and I'm doing gigs, and I feel great. This is awesome. And then I smashed into a pole in a parking lot at Magoo's oh. in, in fucking Maryland. And, you know, six months later, my truck came back. I was like, shut your face. And I remember just for the, before the pandemic, I was like, dude, I got five, just what you said. I got my, the Cusa Kids Tours going and selling out. And I got my own shows. And I'm, I'm about to move into, I was going to get another house. And I was Fuck. like, life is good. And I blame myself for the pandemic. It's my fault. It's, it's rightfully me. so. I mean, yes. that, a lot of people say you should be grateful for things, you know, take a second and reflect. I yes. think if you do that, bad things happen because you're at a good thing. moment. So if you just say, you know what, whatever, I'm, I'm not going to be grateful for this shit, this, this new truck that I have. No, it's all right. No. It's all right. It's just, I should have just kept my trap shut. You know what I mean? Because everything was literally fucking, I mean, the best it's been in so long. You know, I had just gotten, a, I had just gotten the negative people out of my life. I felt oh. good. I felt free, um, like a new start, you know, but whatever. Good things happened from it, though. I mean, if you look back, you know, you had to figure out where you were. You had to figure out what you really wanted to do. You yeah. know, this, this business got filtered out a lot. A lot of those comics that really weren't into it had to go home and get the fuck out of the business. That was <laughs> a good, that's a good, you know, wash. Yeah. You know? Fl um, flushed out that tox, those toxins. Yeah. Flushed but... out a lot of bullshit. And now when it comes back, but this is what great. Cause you see comics, we don't give a fuck. We have to do this. It's not something that we can't, we can just be like, oh, I'll go find something else. It, comics have to do this. So it's like, you see us performing at drive-ins and fucking behind ho hotels and lawns and on the fucking street on a pallet. It's like, we got to get on, we have to get on stage. It's not like we can just go, we can do as many podcasts as we want. It's not going to fill the whole of stand-up comedy, you know? So yeah. It is I'm a glad that there's states hole. like Texas and Arizona that don't care about the pandemic that just open up and they're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, we're like, with COVID, what? I mean, it's nothing we can't shoot at, right? So yeah. let's just open yeah, everything they, up. Yeah, you guys like, we beat AIDS, we can beat COVID. <laughs> we're, going, <laughs> we're going to have a soon. We're looking at some fucking ass on a boat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fun. much the Arizona motto here. But Man, was, God, it, it has, it has been, I think people opened up to the fact that it's real maybe a month or two ago before right. that people were just like, eh, whatever. And, and, and the masks, nobody was wearing a mask either. People were just yeah. like, if I can't see it, it's not real. So, um, that didn't go. It's a so fucked well. up thing though, dude, because it's, you can marry, you have to wear a mask into the restaurant from your car to the restaurant. When you sit yeah. down, you can take the mask off. What? I don't get that. So I don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to wear a mask. But when you leave, you have to put the mask on. If you go to the bathroom, you have to put the mask on. I don't get it. You go to a restaurant, you can take the mask off. You can eat. I'm on the plane. I have to wear the mask. But if I take a sip of my drink or eat my food on the plane, I can take my mask off. I don't get any of it. Mm. And they told us not to wear a mask. And then they told yeah. us to wear masks. And, you know, yeah. and the mask, they're like, well, the masks that you wear aren't good. You have to wear M fucking 1395s. That's the only mask that will prevent it. Now people are wearing fucking, you know, they're wearing underwear on their face. It, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as you're covering your face, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, just as long as you have something saying that you, you know, and, and I, you know, I have antibodies. So you, you can't get it again. You can get it again. But the t it's, it's a fuck. It's a nightmare at this point. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. what do we believe? What what to do? That's uh, I don't know. It's fucking crazy. And then and then the whole thing of like, yeah, it's good to wear a mask, but then you can go to a restaurant, and then it's like when you're away from most people, going into yeah. the restaurant, wear the mask. But then when you go in and are surrounded by people, yeah, 
it's okay to take it with off. With their mouths open, talking, take the mask off. While you're walking in, not saying anything, I want your mask on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That makes sense. Oh, it's ridiculous. But you don't have to worry about that in Arizona because it's mask off all the time. It's like have a suit, but instead of bikinis, it's the mask always off and we're here to party. So I do love have a suit. I've been to have a suit a couple of times. Dude, it's, really? It's, yeah, it's very stressful. It's stressful. <gasps> it's stressful for chubby guys. It's a very, that lake is very stressful for chubby people. It's just like, you're looking at all those boats and all those fucking Arizona hard bodies. And you're just like, oh, shit. And I'm just, I want to take my shirt off so bad, but I can't. You know what I mean? It's just- I do. I, I'm actually going to have a suit next weekend. Just me and my right. wife. It's right. going to be the lamest trip to have a suit ever. I mean, don't tell Why? my wife that. But because usually it's like, oh, we go with a bunch of people or you should go with a bunch of people. I don't know what the tradition is, but it's just me and her. And then it's like to rent a boat. It's more expensive for just two people than if you had six or something like that. But I've what, been trying what, are you to gonna rent the boat, the houseboat. No, no, not a houseboat, but we're gonna, we wanted to go camping, but then all the campsites are just booked until 2022. So <laughs> <laughs> we're like, all right, I guess we'll just do a hotel. Uh, and so we're going to stay at a hotel, but then rent some boats and jet skis and stuff. So during the day we can go out and right. see the water and I've been trying to lose some weight, but that hasn't been working. By trying, I mean, I've been saying I need to lose some weight as I'm shoving chocolate cake in my mouth. So it you hasn't been working. You thin as shit, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's, it, it's a filter. I, I've got the like halo light on, so I look Did you thinner. used to be fat? No, no, I didn't. Well, I used to be a little chubbier. Yeah, yeah, I did. You look did. thin as shit, dude. No, oh, thank you. Thank you. You I, if, I'm just going to take that There's recording more of, of fucking, you saying that and yeah, then I, w- wear that with me to have a suit. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a compliment, but it was, an, it was more of a fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I won't take that part. I'll just take the you look take as, that, as thin as shit. Part, right. <laughs> so what does uh, this podcast do? What, what is it about? So we're going to get into the meat of it, and we Let's give go. advice to questions that are give, that are um, sent to me by fans, and we're going to try and answer these questions. They're just silly questions from all across mm-hmm. the internet. And so okay. I was going to ask, are you a good advice giver, Bobby? Yeah, or? of course I am. Yeah. I didn't expect any different answer. That was well, Fuck yeah, perfect. I give great advice. My advice is probably the exact advice you would take. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's, it's oh. on the money. I, you should probably pay me for this advice. That, that's this right. Podcast. We sh- should definitely pay. And, and you know what? I was going to say, so people supporting you through your shows yeah. in Phoenix, I'm going to yeah. have the link to the show notes there. Also, you've just been up in it, up in the ante on your podcast on, you know what, dude? And the, Kelly, the Cult and Kelly show. And if yes. you go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly, you can support yeah. Your very own, Robert. Yes, Kelly. me and me and Mike Calter, who is the number one morning guy in radio in Florida, uh, would do a show four days a week. It's fucking great. And then, of course, I do my why. You know what, dude? Which is you know one of the longest running comic podcasts out there. And then, if you go to my Patreon, I got a ton of shit. I got live from the shed. I do show. I I did interview shows with just a ton of fucking people. We're gonna set. Up, we're gonna be setting up some more of those shows. And there's just a ton of shit up there. That's awesome. Oh, sorry. And I, I saw, that. bless you. No, <laughs> uh, and I saw too that you had a show. Fuck, where was it last weekend? And you brought Houston. your pod, Houston, and you brought your podcast set up. So you're, you're mobile. You're able to do this. Anywhere. I'm a fucking big tech nerd, dude. I got all the gadgets. I mean, you can tell you're probably bummed out because you look like you are a little nerdy too with the tech equipment. And you have the whole background, you have the little, little sound squares and, in most scenarios, when you do this show, you look like a fucking million bucks. But now that I came on, you're looking at my setup and you're going, fuck, he looks no. great. No, no, the opposite, the opposite. You are like the Robin to my Batman in this episode. Because I mean, usually- look at, look at my background, dude. I mean, look at me. I mean, my, I look like CNN. You look like you're doing an unboxing video. Well, actually, we've got here 
some hot piss that we're going to try. No, <laughs> but we, no, but you know what? I think it looks good because usually I have people that are like on their phones. They don't even have headphones yeah. on. Oh, you look in, you're looking so good. Yes. Let's take it to like, you look like a snack because together we're the meal that the, the listeners. Well, I are- would be the meal. My presentation is magical. Your presentation. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. I'll it's take- very good. I will say it's better than most. I would get rid of that hot light over on that side. It's very hot. That oh, white out, out window light. I mean, I would, yeah, I would do something with that. I was just very hot. Okay. It's very hot. Yeah. And then oh. there you go. That's a little better. Now I would throw a little backlight, buy some backlights to shoot up on the back over there. See that red? And I got a purple and another purple and maybe some little purple just over there. It's called an accent light. It pops you off the back. Just, it's going to add a little, you get that beautiful hair, a little light coming off that hair. It's going to define you from the wall. It's going to add dimension. So it's going to pull you off of that wall. That's what I would do right there. But that's just me. I mean, and I have a little bokeh going on because the lens I'm using. So the background's a little blurry. So I pop off even more, but there you go. God, just a little help from the, So I I would be the, probably the meal of this. You'd be the appetizer, maybe the broccoli. I might be the broccoli, the vegetables. I'm good for you, but not everybody likes me. You're like the fucking steak of this whole thing. This This is just amazing. God damn it. It is. I can't even argue. It's so good. Uh, And you know what? (laughs) You, you, well, this is totally off topic, but as I've been doing research and seeing all the podcasts and I usually listen, but I've been watching your YouTube videos and dude, you just, I think the look, I know it's simple. It's just like shaved head, shaved face glasses. It's just so put together that it's like the meal that I would want to eat instead of me where I've got a hair here, a hair there. My sound panels, they're not even fucking, they look like they're slanted. I think I'm. I, I like to say you just got to shoot some light off of there, dude. You got to get a little color going. You got to pop you off there, man. You know what I mean? You got to get you off there. You got to you got to heat you up a little bit. You know what oh, I mean? Man. Accent right. lights. Yeah, and then and then what? What do you? What camera are you using? I am just my Mac camera. That's your my, Mac camera. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. I mean, that looks great oh. for a Mac camera. Oh, oh there you thank go. you. All right, thank there you. you. Go. Appreciate um, that. So what's, and, what, what do we got? What are these questions? Let's get to it. All right. First off, we, before yes. we get into the questions, we like to center ourselves. And by we, I mean we me. I love using those hands. So those I, hands. You're, like a, you're like a wizard. You're like a, you're like, you love these. You took like a community college course on speaking and you need I, to use your hands. If we can just all come together and have synergy, that means the world can rise up. Okay, go ahead. I, I was a teacher and I was an Italian teacher on top oh. of that. So non parli italiano molto bene. Ah, bravo, Roberto parli italiano bene. Okay, all right. Well, the hands. We're we're gonna, we're gonna go to the inspirational quote where it's gonna help fuel us to answer these questions perfectly. So before I get into my inspirational quote, Bobby, I wanted to ask you if you have any inspirational quotes that you live by. Um. Yes, I always, um, my thing is uh, the serenity prayer is my main thing nice. that I say. Uh, nice. The wisdom, the courage to know the difference, the serenity, those three things. You got to let nice. shit go. You got to learn to let shit go immediately. That's the one thing I say to be, you know, and the short version is fuck it. Just fuck it. You know what I mean? That person's like, yeah, fuck it. She's being a fuck it. The plane no. just got fuck it. You know what I mean? The opener wants to sell fuck, fuck it. The middler wants to fuck it. That's the beautiful. club wants you to fuck it. Just fuck it. Okay, fuck it. That's one God. thing. Yes. Yes. That's like the, the uplifting badass Nike slogan. Just fuck, <laughs> fuck it. it. Fuck it. Fuck yes, it. Yes, it'd be a great slogan for sneakers. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Patrice's quote was, uh, "What's good for me is good." You know what I mean? That was a good one. You know? So really when good. you wonder why would they do that, what's good for them is good, man. Just and then keep it moving. Keep it moving is a good one too. Keep it moving. That's Just pretty good. That yeah, there you go. Well, thank you for providing me a cornucopia of beautiful quotes. I'm well, a little ashamed. Thanksgiving. It, it, there we go. It's very timely. Beautiful. <laughs> now I've got a quote. 
that this is actually not by a person. This is by a robot and it's called Inspirobot. And so what it does is it uses AI to generate or take some of the wisest words known to man yeah. and then just mash them together for an inspirational quote. All right, so. let's hear it. <clears throat> this week, Inspirebot says, science is fate's way of saying, I am drunk. Science is fate's way of saying, I am drunk. Does that scream anything to you? No, it doesn't. Science is fate's way of saying, I am drunk. No, it doesn't. And if I was near the <laughs> robot, I'd fucking unplug it. <laughs> and I would hot piss on it. That really bothers me, that one. Just science. boiling piss. <laughs> si science is, what is it again? Say it again. Maybe I didn't. Again. I'm dumb. No, is no, no. You're one? Th is this, this is the only one. 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 <laughs> okay. Science. Go ahead. Say it again. Science is fate. Maybe I should do it in the robot accent. Science yeah, do it in is. The yeah, talk. Yeah. Science is fate's way of saying I am drunk. Yeah, it's that. better that way. The way you said it <laughs> was very Italian teacher way. <laughs> Science. I, I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> fate's way. I know he's trying to be funny. Fuck him. He's an asshole. I would give that gift back. So a robot that gives inspirational quotes. That's good. Something with no emotions that never felt anything. Trying to mush shit together to make people happy. How about this? Go to a meeting. How's that? Go to a meeting and get sober, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty true. I was, think, you know, I was thinking about this as you were saying it. Science is fate's way of saying I am drunk. Maybe yep. fate somehow, sometimes you look back at things and you're like, this shouldn't have turned out the way that it did. And so you're, you, you're thinking pragmatically and you're thinking with science. And then you think back and you're like, wow, fate was a real drunk bastard. And it just somehow things worked out. I have a better one. Oh, all right. Man makes plans and God laughs. This is why you're the, the, the prime steak and I'm the fucking Diet Coke. Man makes plans and God laughs. How's that? And if you're one of those, I don't believe in God because you're a fucking piece of shit <laughs> and you have no God in your life because you're garbage, just say the universe if that's what you have to say. You know, and if it's there crystals, because I know you're out in Arizona and believe in say the, you may change to whatever God you want. Bobby, God is in the crystals. That's what we believe here. I know. So. I know. I believe that too. That's shy. I believe yeah. The crystals, yes. And by the crystals, I mean the girls at Lake Havasu named Crystal. That's, that's what I believe. Nice. All right. Well, yes. moving on. We're going to jump moving into on. the questions. Let's go. Let's do it. We've got our first question. It's from Reddit. It's found by our fan, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Oh. What would be the best way to promote my dirty fan fiction? I have been pouring my heart and soul into my obscene My Little Pony fan fiction, but I'm consistently disappointed by the lack of feedback on my writing. Possible I would have more if more people read it. In short, what do you think would be an effective way to promote such a literary feat? Sincerely, enough horsing around. Is it dirty? Did she say it's dirty? Obscene. It's obscene. It's, yeah. It's dirty, My Little Pony. It, is it, it's... Yeah. You want people to go read it. She wants us to read stuff. Yeah. She does. Yeah. She sent Get a it. sample too. Do you want me to open it up? Of no, course I'm kidding. I did. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> well, but. here's what I would say. You have to you have to get a photo done of you shirtless. <laughs> and make that your make that your Make that your little icon on all of your, don't show your boobs. I'm just saying cleavage, not even your face, half your face and just from here and then make that your, your image mm. on Twitter and, and that, and then go and like a bunch of fucking people go, Hey, I got some cool stuff. You want to read it? And they'll see how many times have you gone into your messages and seen some kind of hot girl. And you're like, who's that? And you find out it's not even a real person, but you still fucking accepted them in your life. Too many now, times. If, if exactly. So I would say, yeah, I would say show your cleavage. That's pretty good. I would say, can I do one yes. better? Maybe. Yes. Let's see how. Let's see. Show so your you show your, 
<laughs> yeah, how did you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, you show your cleavage, but then mm. on the bottom, you show the bottom too, but it's horse legs. So that way Perfect. you're giving, you're right. being unique because you're yes. showing the hotness here with yes. the mystique of yes. the horse. The pony. Yeah, the pony. the pony. I would say pony, not horse. That, that's it's yes. my little pony, not my little horse. My little horse is a, I think a guy died from that one. Um, so I think there's a video of that. My that one's pony. banned. No one, no one's ever died from fucking a pony. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's a fact. So that's what I would say. I would say you have to visually capture us for us. Nobody wants to read anymore. Everything is visual. People learn how to do shit. I don't read a book on a fix a pipe. I go to a YouTube page and watch an asshole. When I'm going to reseed my lawn, I'm not going to go read a book on seeding grass. I'm going to go watch a douchebag for 20 minutes on YouTube. I'm visual. So you have to make it visual right. to get me to read it. You understand? Right. There you go. <clears throat> That's good. That's good. Or audio in terms of audiobooks. I hear those are on the rise now. So you but could record yeah, your. If you don't have a sexy voice, don't bother. Because if you have some. So then the pony went over and grabbed his penis. And no, we don't want that. You know what I mean? The it's pony's like, throbbing member went deep yeah. inside. Okay. Yeah. You don't want yeah, that. You don't want no. that. You don't want that. But if it's a sexy voice, you know, the pony shaft went in and out of the darkness of my own hole. And then I screamed, ah, ah, and squirrels ran and tinkled ever so slightly from the trees on us. And it cooled us down in the midsummer heat. Something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just helping. I'm trying to help. For a spitball. I mean, that was pretty poetic. I, pretty I'm hard. Poetic. So I don't know. <laughs> I've right. been hard the whole time. I believe you have no <laughs> pants on. And you know, this podcast is not even real. You're probably some, so you're, you're a girl that I dated in high school that transitioned. You've been trying to get back with me for years. I haven't even transitioned. I'm just deepening my voice. I was always yes. flat chested, but um, Bobby, how can you not remember me? What the fuck? It's because of the accent lighting, isn't it? You don't remember me. Well, your hands do this whole thing you're doing. It, it did bring back some flashbacks. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. All right. Moving on, as Patrice O'Neill or Inspirebot or whoever said. Uh, uh, I, I think he said, uh, not, not, not moving on. <laughs> no, okay. All right, we've got our next question. It is yes. eighth wedding anniversary. I need help with gift ideas for my husband, please. My husband and my eight year wedding anniversary is coming up and we're stuck to the traditional anniversary gifts thus far. Well, this year is bronze and I have no effing clue what to get him. He's an IT nerd, loves PC games and Marvel movies. He's a father to two beautiful daughters. Any advice? I'm so stuck. Sincerely, present tense. It's bronze. Bronze. First of all, I don't believe in this whole, what is it this year? Because that's, I, who the fuck said that? Who made up every year is something? <clears throat> that's I believe it was, yeah, I believe it was probably a married couple that was not having sex anymore. And so one of them was so bored. They were like, yeah. well, this should be something we could celebrate. And then, so they just said, okay, year one cotton, year two paper clips, year three bronze and so on and so forth. And so year eight is now, bronze, by the way. Well, uh, year three and year eight, actually. You, is I don't it? know. Fact check me. Is that real? I'm not fact. This is your show. I'm not fact checking anybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never said that before. What a douchey thing to say. I'm not but... fact checking somebody with that type of hair. That, that, <laughs> that hair, is too, his hair is too beautiful to fact check. Is it because you think shit. I'm right or you think I'm wrong? Um, I don't. Is either. this hair like a I'm right hair or is it like a? It's, it's very ghost huntery. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I don't even know what that means. Um, I would listen. Here's the deal. And I'm going to tell every woman this. Please. Okay? Forget about your bronze and your wood and your dirt and all that horse shit. You want to give your husband something? Give him a day away from you and the girls. Give him a day to go out, go with his friends, smoke a cigar, have a meal, 
where he doesn't have to do shit. Just give him the day. That's all we want. We'll be with you every other You want to give me something? Give me the day. Just the day where I don't have to fucking wake up and take something out and fix something and answer a question and drop somebody off and pick them up and give advice and fucking bend it, bend. Just one day of don't talk to me. Don't look at me and just bring me shit. Ask me my favorite meal and make it for me. Have my fucking le- favorite lunch and tell the daughters, look, I know he loves his daughters. You're going to go, but he lo- I love my kid. But let me tell you something. If you gave me a day where I didn't have to fucking deal with people, you know what you do? Take the girls and go somewhere. Leave him in the house from six in the morning until fucking 10 at night. Just go, go somewhere. I love- Let him have the day. And I, well, he loves spending time. I know, I know you think that. I know he loves you. I know he loves the kids. I know. Leave. Trust me. Leave him alone for one day. I- I agree with that. And I think this one day of maybe misery for you thinking, oh, he doesn't love me. It's going to turn into 364 days, big ROI of great, great days with hubby. Yes. And it's like, go ahead. And when you come back at night, blow him. (laughs) I'm not even doing a blow him. Just give him a hand job. Guys don't want blow jobs later in life. We want a hand job. Give us a hand job. Let me stay on my iPad and you give me a hand job. And then there you go. I'm done. We're done. Oh, there you go. That's what, that, that, that's what I do. Forget about bronze. Just a day. I love that. And God. a hand job. Well, I think, and a hand job to finish it off. I mean, yes. maybe, be maybe like a beginning and end too. Yeah. You yeah beginning. A... Don't do it. Don't unenthusiastically do it. Do it. No, yeah. No size. Like, ah. <sighs> Yeah. And put a towel over his stomach so he doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't want to clean up. Yeah. There yeah. You go. yeah. That's beautiful. All Don't right. look at your watch. Just, you know, maybe have some lighting too. get some accent lights. So it really oh, blows no, up no, no, that no. dick. No, 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 no lighting. No, Do it in complete darkness. No, he doesn't want to look at, he doesn't want to see. He wants to, he wants to close his eyes and just whatever he wants happening. Let him have it. Nobody That's wants to true. look down to their wife. The mother of your kids jerking you off in fucking purple accent lights. But uh, <laughs> you know what, though? But if you, do, if you do happen to open your eyes, you'd want to see a nice monumental thing instead of like this dimly lit I hobo see, dick. There's nothing sexier than just darkness. <laughs> getting, getting jerked off in darkness. Do you understand me? Oh, am I Starting doing to. the My Pony stuff again? I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> What's the next question? All right. We've got the last question. All right. Um, the last question is, it's from Reddit, found by our fan Liz. Thank you, Liz. It says, my boyfriend won't suck my toes. Like, at all. Like, not even one suck. Can he actually love me if he doesn't want to suck them? And that's sincerely toe jam. Yeah, listen, weirdo. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, nobody wants to suck feet. That's a fucking... Have you ever? That is a... Listen, no, I'm not putting your dirty toe in my mouth, okay? If you ever looked at a foot, it's fucking... They're never good looking. The pinky toe is always fucked up on women because they have to wear those skinny little fucking shoes. It's like... It's veering off to the side or it's... There's a little bunion on it. It's like, no, get a new fetish. All right. I'd rather eat a girl's armpit out like a vagina than put a foot in my mouth. Wait, 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 wait. If we're thinking of stink level, I would say the armpit is way stinkier than a toe. Maybe. No way. No way. There's a toenail down there. Stuff is under there. I mean, what the fuck? I didn't think I mean, of that. It's just, and if you if he doesn't, you should marry him. I'm not marrying the girl that fucking sucks my toe. I'm not marrying the girl that eats my asshole. I'm marrying the girl that 
wants to fucking have, make love and fuck and you do the toe sucking with somebody else. Yeah. Go find a fucking weirdo, you know, at some Comic Con convention that likes toe sucking. Have him do it. <laughs> yeah, find some fucking. Here's the problem with that because once you once he breaks that seal, where are you gonna go from there? What if he has a fucked up fetish that he likes? What if he likes two knuckles in his butt every time he comes? You gonna do that? Or like two toes? You're opening up a. You're, yeah. What if he wants your toes in his butt and then he sucks your toes? What if it gets uh, really weird? Yeah. Oh, well, how about God. this? Go to yoga and learn to suck your own toes. I mean, but that, I mean, I, yeah. Listen, it depends on who she is, and it depends. You know, I mean, I don't know. It depends. I guess I'd have to if see it, her foot. Yeah, yeah. It would depend on the foot. She'd have to have showered, I think. And yeah, and I, I get to judge like, you. If your foot's hot, you don't tell me. My, I got pretty feet. I had a lot of girls say my feet are pretty and they look like fucking talons. Oh, so. God. I, I can't remember any of my ex's feet. I don't know. Like, it's the last thing that I usually look at. Yeah, dude, I have two dead toenails. Okay. I mean, dead. <laughs> they look like Frito corn chips. Why don't you come over here and suck my toes? She's so into it. Do they taste like Frito corn chips? They probably like do. That? Very, they're probably some type of cheese. Well, if I cut my toe of this stuff underneath it. Ugh, it's gross. Fucking, yeah. Well, you shower in a New York sports club and not get fucking toe fungus. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, that's a beautiful line to end on. We've reached the right. end of our show, Bobby. That's thank great. you so much for joining us. Yes. Um, where can so people? I, too, I feel like I was too mean for this show. What do you mean to me? Aggressive. Was I too aggressive? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I feel like you weren't aggressive enough. I was expecting right, to get you battered. Fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Relax. You fucking silly shirt. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I actually, I was like, what shirt would Bobby make fun of the most? And um, I, I love that shirt. Actually, I think it's fantastic. Oh, thank you. I appreciate I that. It's the rest I don't like. But um, <laughs> what's in the shirt is bothering me fucking immensely. The monstrosity with golden locks in the shirt yeah. that oh, doesn't know how to shave. Your Puritan colonial fingers. Just <laughs> exactly what the Indians saw when you were handing the blankets. Just here, we're going we to- We promise we'll take care of you. Look, Peace yeah, and look love. At those, look at those ghost hands. <laughs> I mean, this is one color from the tip to the fucking elbow. Um, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I, look what you got out of me. Um, oh, this no, weekend, no. yes, at the Tempe Improv. I'm very excited. I really love Tempe, and the Improv uh, has always taken care of me. I'm very excited. I love both those clubs and, you know, all the clubs. You get so many comedy clubs in Arizona, man. Very lucky to have all the comedy run through there the way you do. And I'm glad that people are coming back. So I hope, I hope they come out. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I'm back uh, Sunday. I'm first thing smoking back to New York. So Nice, nice. And I'll have a link to the show notes there. As I said, I'll be in Lake Havasu Friday, but I will be there Thursday to laugh. Oh, and, uh, oh good. Know. I'll say hi to you after the show. Oh, nice, nice. And I'll bring one of my favorite shirts so you can. Oh, please. You know. Oh, please. Please bring that fucking medium shirt from H&M. With fucking some type of lightning bolt on it. Where do, where do you get your shirts? H and M. Where do you? Did get you clothes? see? Uh, I got the Express. No, not Express. Oh, Express. That's yeah. Express. I can't even remember. Burlington Co Factory. That's where I got. Ooh, oh, I like yeah. that. Okay. Twelve bucks. Yeah. Twelve bucks. Nice. I like a bargain. And it even, it's good for you. I feel like I, I did the the button, but I feel like there's yeah. a little too much hair. So maybe I should like button it up. No, leave it down. The, okay. Come on, unbutton. One that more, for me. maybe. No. Yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> I'm gonna piss on you. I uh, <laughs> maybe suck my toes. <laughs> then ride me like a pony. Um, <laughs> oh um, God! I will have fun with your uh, have fun with your chicken. I'll see you Thursday night. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Bobby, for doing this. This was a real treat for me. So you got it, buddy. Um, have a great day. All right, man. All right, thanks. You too, man. I'll Later. Bye bye.